Yeah? What? Right out. Will, Will, we got a roll on Channel 10. Oh, we got right. down there right away. Right away, right, Jack. Um, Worse than I thought. Yeah. I haven't seen a roll like this since the levery at the knockout. Well, well, there goes nothing. Whoa! 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 Hang on, Jack. I'm going to get you. Whoa! 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 That's a tummy. Ha-ha. This will hold it down. What's your dishwashing detergent for, Bill? Oh, I have to wash the satellite dish for Lisa Gibbons. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we got that sort of that. Yes, the bing bong noise. Thank you. Plenty now. The bing bong noise that is the symbol of the bonus question. And this is a who am I round. Basically, we have a mystery guest behind our door. Now, that mystery guest is going to start to speak and give some clues as soon as you think you recognise who it is, bong in. But remember, if you bong in too early, then all the clues go to the other team. OK, mystery guest, you can start now. I was born in Sydney, coincidentally on the same date as someone with whom I later co-starred in the long-running series, Rowena Wallace. After leaving school, I joined Channel 7 in Sydney as a cables boy on shows such as Beauty and the Beast, then had a short stint in the army before enrolling as an acting student at NIDA from where I graduated in 1969. From there I went to Perth to work in theatre. Alison. Gil Tucker. Gil Tucker, well done. <laughs> right, Evan, and welcome along, ladies and gentlemen, Gil Tucker. Gil, come through that door. Open up. Come on, it's OK. Come on, sit down. Thanks, mate. Well, I must admit, I, I was worried about it because even our technical boffins have trouble disguising your voice. I think I, I must listen to you all the time on Triple M. I'm constantly playing radio ads that have got your voice on it. Yeah, well, I suppose it's one of those voices, isn't it? And especially, um, you know, in, in the show that people know me most from, um, my voice was very high, so I guess it's fairly distinctive. I didn't think, I didn't realise I was going to do that, otherwise it would have been a giveaway. Just as well, really. The, um... Uh, is it fun doing radio ads, by the way? Do you enjoy yeah, that? Yeah, sort of I song? do, I do. You get a chance to sort of hide behind different characters and, um... You know, you get a chance to play really off the wall sort of things, which is fun. Who's the people that pick me, actually? Uh, those ones over there, the they cone of silence. They're going all right, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're not going to do anything about that. The bonus question was a good one. You were also in The Flying Doctors, too, in the early days as yes. the radio operator. Was that, a, was that a good time? It was, because I'd played such an over-the-top sort of character in Cop Shop. It was great to do something fairly contained and uh, to do something quite different. Um, and, you know, Crawford's uh, were very good to me, of course. And it was yeah, great. I, I actually to do did it. one episode of The Flying Doctors. Did you? Mm. Tragically, though, they never did pick up the character. I can't understand why. But uh, <laughs> if, uh, it couldn't have been my acting skills. It had to be something else. <laughs> Had to but be, Richard, but yeah. a great bunch of people to work with, and Minyup was such a fun town. It was, it was great. And uh, the interesting thing about uh, Minyup, of course, it was stood, out, stood in for the Outback, you know, and it really wasn't mm. quite, didn't have quite the cloud cover as the Outback. Or the Outback has no cloud cover at all, so it had heaps of clouds, and it uh, wasn't really quite what we uh, wanted it to be. Made up for it with a vibrant social life, though, I thought. Oh, yes, now, electric. electric. Of course, the role you're best known for is uh, Roy Baker in Cop Shop. And was, was that a fun role for you to play? It's terrific, yeah. It was a great, great time in my life, actually. I mean, it was really the old sort of vaudeville double act, you know, with Terry Norris. Um, How did that evolve, that relationship that you had with him? Well, we didn't really... I, and a lot of people you work with, you sort of have to discuss what's funny and what isn't. Um, with Terry and I, we never discussed it. It was just one of those happy coincidences, I think. He sort of, um, you know, he kicked me up at the bum, I made a face and they laughed, you know, they all sort of, <laughs> they all sort of formula. It worked and Hardy, yeah. It did, it did. And we never, we never sort of uh, had any cues either. We never really worked to cues. We just sort of, uh, when he stopped, I started and vice versa. You know? What a fun bunch of guys you must have been to direct. Uh, uh, oh, it's great. It was anarchy, actually. I bet. Anarchy, yeah. Now, he, uh, he later quit to go into state politics and, and actually... You went on to be in a show vaguely linked to state politics, and that was Jackie Weaver and That's House right. Rules. That's right, House Rules, yeah. Yeah, I loved doing that particularly. It was great working with Jackie and uh, all the people at the uh, cast there in Channel 2. Because here, again, it was a quite a different sort of a, a thing, you know, to, quite a, a change for me, because he was playing something reason someone reasonably normal, you know, <laughs> and not to insane. Caught you by surprise. Yes, it did. <laughs> <laughs> Kept trying to drop into character. And, of course, you do a lot of stage work. We talk mainly about your television work here, but yeah, stage work Yes, yes, I love stage work, and... Um, 
I, uh, well, I started out doing a lot of stage. I went to Perth and then came back to, um, to Sydney and worked at the Sydney Theatre Company and then down at the Melbourne Theatre Company. And um, um, I, I guess every actor enjoys stage work. And, much, and you're doing something very different now. What are, what are you actually Yeah, I'm a herbologist, actually. A herbologist, which yeah. is? Oh, I deal in things like mar... No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's only joking, really. Don't think that'll get to air. Um, oh, I, little uh, do you know. Never mind. Yes. So what sort of stuff? What are we talking? No. Sage, rosemary and yeah, thyme? Yeah, it's a... So, yeah, like the song, yeah. Hmm. Um, we, uh, we wholesale fresh herbs to restaurants. Um, a friend of mine was doing it, just didn't have enough... Uh, I couldn't sort of handle it with so much work, and so asked me to join him. Sure, and, uh, natural career progression. It works absolutely, for me. and yeah. and uh, you know I've got twins, you see, so that kind of made a difference. I don't know really what. Yeah, difference well, that no, has, the herbs with twins, no, that yeah, makes sense. Makes to a lot me. of no. sense. Yeah. So yeah. Um, it's it's good, you know, and people are just sort of ringing us up now, and we've got 20 restaurants in Sydney, and um, no one's actually doing it really, delivering to restaurants. So. Right place, the right time. Beautiful. What a niche. And you're in acting at the moment. What are you working on at the moment? Well, I've just finished this, another series, uh, All the Rivers Run. Mm -hmm. uh, All the Rivers Run, what is it, 12? All uh, the Rivers Run, 10? Which would, one was it? It should be, yeah. I think it's two. But it should be three or five. Um, yeah, it's, it's going great. Really good. Um, and uh, it was great just to get up there to Echuca uh, on the Murray and um, with a whole lot of mates and... Um, have a few drinks and do a nice series. Oh, what a lovely. Yeah, it sounds hard work. It sounds <laughs> great. Bill, thanks very much for coming in. Pleasure. And for being our special guest. Pleasure. And you don't go away empty handed because right. Morticia's got a little something to oh, work. Bill Morticia. Tucker, everyone, put your hands together. Hello. Thanks. Look, have a glass of fat juice. I squeezed it oh, myself. Fat oh, thank you very much, Morticia. Thank you, Tuck. Bill, for a bit of the herbologist, by the way. Cleopatra, the man eating plants, been off her food a bit lately. Have you any suggestions? Well, I think Cleopatra could probably do with um, uh, Mexican sage, I think. Mexican sage? Mexican I'll put sage. in an order in that case. Yes, Mexican sage is very good for those sort of things. <laughs> right, I'll remember Stop that. it, stop <laughs> it. They'll be discussing fennel hints next. Stop, stop. Okay, hands back on the buzzers. What was the name of the character that Gil played in Cop Shop? Linda. Roy Baker. Yes. <laughs> name the actor who starred next to Gil in Cop Shop. Andrew. Terry Norris. Yes, Terry Norris. Well done. Paula Duncan also appeared in Cop Shop. What was the name of her character? Linda. Danny Francis. Yes. <laughs> Paula Duncan also married one of the cast members. John Alison. Orsick. John Orsick? Yes, John Orsick. Well done. Oh, held off a bit of a rally. Thanks once again, of course, to Gil Tucker. And have a look at the scores. Castaways 40, Code of Silence 60. Good luck, i it. And we'll be back right after this break. Thank <laughs> you.